I'm going to play a short improvisation for you, a completely unplanned improvisation. You can plan improvisation to different degrees, just as you can plan what you're saying, like I'm improvising what I'm saying to you now, but I do kind of know what I'm wanting to say, because I'm introducing what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to sort of plan the subject matter, I'm going to see what's going to come out. Uh, I'll just choose the tonal centre of F sharp minor, and I'll choose um, a, a simple four groove, a four time groove. Da, da, di, da, 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 di, da. So people often ask me, um, how, how do you improvise? Well, the thing is, it's just like speech. You, you have to tag the actual language. You have to sort of notice the language rather than the musical result. If you start to listen to what it is you're playing and judge that, judge the actual outcome, you tend to get a bit sort of, um, a bit sort of over-analytical and worried about what you're playing. So you, you just have to just say the words, as it were. Say what you mean. So the words in music are things like blocks of tonality that relate to each other in the matrix. The tonal matrix becomes the keyboard map. And rhythm cells, cells of rhythm that plug into the groove, the groove itself. So knowing where you are in the groove structure and, and you know, the, knowing where you are in the tonal structure. So these two things, the tonal structure and the, the rhythmic structure, those are what I, I teach on my uh, Play Piano Fluently course. I'm going to do this little improvisation in F sharp minor.